hi welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna go over three biggest lessons from the book the great gatsby the great gatsby is the novel by francis scott fitzgerald and it was first published in 1925 and uh, it's actually a story about a young man uh, maybe not that young man but a man nick carraway and uh, his actually life a uh, short story in the introduction in the first chapter about his life and uh, the story of him living uh, in the uh, east, uh, west egg in on the long island uh, but if you uh, want to read the whole summary of the book uh, you can do that in the link on the link in the description where i'm gonna uh, put a link to my website where i'm gonna make a summary of this book uh, in a blog post so you can read that there but now i'm gonna go over three uh, biggest lessons i've got from this book first when i uh, like read this uh, these lessons i was like wow i had to stop reading and like think uh, take a moment to to realize that that it's it was so powerful uh, to to hear those lessons so uh, let's start right away with the first lesson so first lesson is actually first sentence of the book the first sentence of the first chapter and it says when you want to criticize someone remember that not everyone had the advantages you had and it's actually put in the perspective that uh, the father of the storyteller of nick uh, s uh, said to him that that this sentence and actually a storyteller is that guy nick uh, who was living in that uh, west egg in on long island uh, next to the new york and actually this uh, this sentence this quote uh, was really stunning for me uh, when i read this uh, quote for the first time when i first started reading this book i had to put the book down and uh, wait another day uh, until I could continue reading this book because I just read the first sentence and I already got a huge lesson that maybe made me think so much and I was like wow was then more in this book if in the first sentence already it's uh, this huge lesson uh, and actually what uh, this sentence made made me think of is that uh, we actually have to uh, really take uh, an objective look on ourselves on our lives and on our situation and realize that actually we we are in really good position because uh, i read a, an also a similar quote the other day uh, that said uh, uh, when you are sad about uh, something that you can't have remember that uh, this what you have right now is uh, the goal of someone who has less than you so if you're striving to have bigger house your current house is someone's goal and it's someone's dream house and it's always like that uh, it's always uh, there's always something bigger and always someone who has less than you is dreaming about what you have right now and that's why we have to appreciate and be grateful for everything we have right now because uh, there are so many people that don't have uh, at even this what we have uh, so we have to really be grateful about that and uh, realize that we actually have a lot we have really a lot lot more than we think uh, because but because we are so much thinking about what we don't have we don't focus on what we have and that's why we think oh, oh we don't have enough we don't have uh, enough money enough, enough big a big house or something like that but when you take a look closer and actually uh, analyze and be uh, and become grateful you'll realize that you have a lot a lot of things and you really have to appreciate what you have in your life right now the second lesson i found uh, when the great gatsby died that was uh, really close to the end of the book it was in the uh, eighth chapter of nine chapters and that uh, quote sentence was he, uh, put in the words put in the mouth of uh, one Gatsby's friend and he said uh, let's learn to show friendship to a man while he is still alive and not uh, when he is dead because uh, Nick Carraway was organizing a funeral for the great Gatsby and uh, he wanted that that man to to come uh, to the funeral but he said this sentence and he said uh, after a person dies uh, I'm not involved I'm not getting involved in anything about that anymore uh, and it really made me think that 
uh, when in when we are speaking about people in our lives, uh, we don't actually uh, realize that we don't know uh, when it's gonna be the last uh, time we see that person. So when we are like talking to our friends, hanging out, and we just tell tell them goodbye, see you tomorrow, see you other time, but we don't know if that was the last time we're gonna see them and. Uh, also, I read that quote. I just said uh, that uh, we don't know if this is last last time with with this person. And uh, when I read that a few years ago, I really started to appreciate more uh, every moment I'm spending with the person I'm spending it with. Because uh, really, if you remember uh, of this, uh, if you remind yourself of that, that you don't know if you're gonna see this person another time. You're really gonna be present in in that moment in interaction. Uh, you're really gonna say them uh, goodbye with really a lot of love and uh, you're gonna appreciate that uh, so much more and you're gonna enjoy so much more talking to that person and spending time with that person but of course it doesn't have to uh, mean that always it's gonna be the last time you just have to remember of that in order to appreciate that moment a bit more but of course uh, I, as I said we don't know when it's gonna be the last time we're seeing them so we just have to appreciate it and uh, really there will be so much uh, more moments with people we love and we really have to enjoy them uh, while we still can and now the third final lesson is actually the last sentence of the book so first sentence of the book is first lesson and uh, this third lesson is uh, final the last sentence of this book this novel but of course there are so many so many more lessons uh, in this book and I'm gonna as well uh, list them out in the summary on my blog post so uh, check that out on the link in the description but now uh, the third lesson says and so we sail like ships against the stream which constantly takes us back into the past and uh, that's really the the sentence I needed uh, that I needed few few hours few days to process because uh, when as well when I r read this sentence I was like wow actually that's that's really true because we are going through life like ships uh, like uh, ships on the on the sea and uh, while we are going through life the stream of life the strength of life just like stream of the water is pushing us back constantly into the past and uh, making us think about the past and that's when uh, like depression is born and all those uh, maybe sad uh, sad moments are uh, made because uh, when we think about past we are thinking about something that's gone and we, r we really can't get that back anymore and if that's something bad we are most most likely gonna be maybe sad or something like that uh, about uh, that mo uh, that event that moment uh, and that those thoughts uh, that stream is constantly making us think of the past but really what we uh, should uh, at least that's what I think we should do and what I'm trying to do is to uh, look forward even though uh, we shouldn't be uh, looking too much forward that's uh, something I really struggle with as well and I'm not saying I'm perfect I also have some moments when I think about the past a lot but uh, most often I'm trying to think about uh, really like uh, great moments uh, in my past and when I was like achieving some uh, huge results but uh, also th speaking of future uh, we shouldn't be thinking too much into the future even though uh, we have to plan the future we have to like uh, set goals and all that but uh, what I'm uh, working on the most is trying to be present right now in this present moment and one of the things that helps me with that is breathing so uh, breath work because it helps you to focus on the on your breath and focus on this present moment but of course in everyday life uh, when you're going through so many things working so many things uh, you really will have s some moments when you're gonna go into the future a lot uh, but also when you're gonna go into the past a lot and uh, I think there's the the best thing is to try to find the balance within within that uh, between that and that's I mean of course we're all uh, trying our best and 
not ever, everyone is nobody is perfect and i'm as well working on on these things i'm talking about right now so uh even though the stream of life is uh, taking us back all the time into the past uh, we should try to really as much as we can focus on the present moment do that deep work that uh work on ourselves that so that it makes us be in the present moment and of course try to to be better uh, every day so uh, those are uh, three biggest lessons i got from this book this novel the great gatsby and it was like really really huge novel i first had uh, like a lot of struggle uh, reading it uh, but now when when i read it uh, it's really like my one of my top books i read this year and uh, i hope you're gonna uh, read this book because i really suggest you to read this book it's uh, really amazing just uh, based on thi these lessons i've told you right now but there are so many more lessons uh, or, or of course if you don't want to read uh, definitely check out the summary of this book uh, down on the link in the description but for sure uh, if you uh, give yourself enough effort to read this book it's gonna be definitely worth it so i hope this was helpful and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video